Hi guys, this is my latest project. It's a micro N-gauge layout. In this introduction, I'm just going to give you some um, background behind it and why I'm doing it and um, a bit of an insight into what is to come and uh, what I'm going to do to finish it. So I have, I've had this for about two, two to three years now, just sitting and not really doing much in basically the same state that it's in at the moment. Um, this started life as a um, a, a cake stand um, that was made out of polystyrene um, and what I done was I first added a piece of corrugated cardboard really strong from like a TV box I think it was so it's really thick um, strong cardboard to keep the bottom really strong and then I cut a hole for the controller I'll get the controller in a minute and show you that it's one of the old Hornby ones um, so it's quite big um, but I think that'll sit in there nicely um, and I've made a little hole I've made a little hole at the top where the wire will come through and wire into the track. Um, the track is Kato 6 inch radius track um, or 150mm. Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's really good. Just clicks together like that and you can just pull it apart um, and click it back together. Um, and hopefully it should run uh, trains around. The train I'm hoping to run on it is um, this little LMS um, Ginty tank. Um, and it does fit on, but I haven't actually tested it round because I haven't actually wired it up yet. So hopefully that should run around fine with a couple of wagons. I am hoping to get this done by Christmas and have it a Christmas themed layout. Um, and maybe next year take it to, to some shows near Christmas, who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the reason I first started by um, obviously pave mashing it as you can see um, and then I realised it wasn't quite wide enough because this was some of it was hanging over the edges it was going round so I ended up um, gluing some cardboard around the edge um, and that seemed to make it look a bit better around the edges because I do want to ballast it again even though it has got ballast I think actual ballast will make it look a bit more realistic um, so yeah, um, but I, I think paper mache isn't the best because it can be a bit flimsy in places. So what I'm going to do now is um, I've got some plaster sheets off Amazon, so I'm going to put those on um, and make it really, really strong. Um, just to make it easier. Also, it's white, uh, so Christmas themed, I want to do it all snow, so that should help. But I might paint it brown and... Uh, put grass on it and then add snow so it still gets the grass effect but um, it starts to look a bit more snowy the house I'm using is um, a cheap one I got off eBay it came in a pack of four of these pre-built well, um, they've been built uh, Metcalf um, workers cottages and I think they'll look really nice on the top um, you see I cut out a bit here I was going to do a little um, a valley or something or a river um, going down and then a bridge or something, but I think I'll just leave it as is because with my time scale and I'm quite busy, so I don't think I will get it done if I if I try and do that as well. So I'm just gonna cover that up with the with the plaster, and I think it should look alright if I just fill it in with some stuff. Um, and uh, I think that'll look really nice. This is the controller yeah. I'll be using. It's not the greatest controller, but um, it's easy to control. It's easy to switch direction if I want to even though I probably won't be, but um, yeah, for something like this, this is really easy to um, to use, you know, just twist it about, and it'll fit in there nicely, because it sits on the side quite well, um, but I'll probably fix it in place with uh, maybe some, I don't know how strong the polystyrene is, but maybe some nails or screws or something, or maybe just glue it, because the back is quite flat, I could get some really strong glue on those, um, and glue it to the back, so yeah. Um, it's not great for slow operation. It used to be from my um, my OO gauge layout before I had N-Gage, so um, and I just kept it from then because it's not it's not worth very much to be honest. Um, it's not great at slow operation or adjusting the speed, but um, it's not bad for just easy stuff like this. So yeah, I'll be using one of those. So what I've done now is I've taken the plaster sheets and cut them into strips. So we now have one easy strip that we can. Um, lay on like that, um, and I've got a. Don't you see in the background? I've got a tub of water just there. Um, 
that's just a reused um, sweet tub I think um, just reuse that so I'm going to dump these in lay them over um, and then smooth it all out around I'm not sure which way I'm going to go I think if I go that way they will cross over at the top or I might go like that and then go down maybe I think I'll just have to experiment and then go up from there oh no. yeah let's have a go at the first one so I'm just going to dunk it in Do what I said. Let's just go straight over the top. And you just want to smooth that out with your fingers, like so. Okay. be super neat because in like real like in real life nothing's perfect <laughs> I guess. Okay. continue to do this and um, I'll probably do a time lapse to show you how it's getting on. Okay, see you in a bit. So I'm now starting the underside of the layout because although it's only been 15 minutes that has hardened quite well you probably hear it that has hardened really really well and um, I'm a bit worried about these because these are just cardboard they do feel a little bit flimsy but hopefully as that dries as it totally firms up that should get rock hard like it is on top if not I'll just do another layer over the top I also just do a drying. I also done the inside of there. Um, oh, sorry, I can't really see that. <laughs> I also did the inside of there. Um, so that's looking really nice now. All I need to do is, um, yeah, there was a hole for the cable, but I covered it up. Um, there was a whole summer up here, so I have to try and find that. I probably should have poked that in um, to keep its place, but uh, that'll be a fun thing to try. Um, but yeah, now it's to do the, the bottom. So I want to just cover that as well, just to make that solid and it's not all uh, not all newspapery. Um, and cover the sides so no more newspaper is visible. And then maybe I'll do some painting as well in this video. Um, but I'll see how it goes. That may be for next time. So yeah, let's get on with this. I'm not really sure what trees these are, but um, they look really effective. Um, and I think with some snow on them, they'll look really, really nice. So yeah, there's quite some nice ones there. I got these used, um, and they are actually metal. Um, like the actual bottom of them is metal. Um, but yeah, they look really nice. So. Um, I think they will make a really nice addition to the layout once they're on with the house in the middle um, just about the plaster some things that I picked up from doing it um, 
don't have two long sheets because my tub wasn't massive so I couldn't actually dip it all in at the same time so it gets a bit hard to hold and then wrap it around it can fold over each other so try not use two big strips although I did do a big one around the edge and that works really well um, another thing is that it actually goes a long way I got a pack of eight of these which are um, 10 centimeters by 300 centimeters so um, I thought that would I thought they wouldn't go that far but I've only used two and a half I've only used two and a half packs of those and I brought eight so I've got plenty left um, and yeah it's very affordable that's why I got it um, and it's so strong so so strong so yeah what I'm gonna do next time is paint all around the outside and on top probably a brown maybe a lighter brown so <clears throat> it's not too dark for the for the snow um, and then once that's all dry I'll probably glue the track um, and ballast and then do the scenery um, once all the ballasting is done and once that's dry um, then do the scenery glue the house on and once it's all looking nice and green then I'll start adding the snow and probably fix it in place with some hairspray or a spray adhesive um, with that uh, so I'll hopefully get the snow by next next time it'll probably be in a couple of weeks um, so yeah, see you then. Thanks for watching.